Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Four Beasts deck from Seashell Playing Cards. Uh, this was a Kickstarter. It was uh, designed by Alvin Chang and uh, Seashell Cards. If you want to learn more about them, you can actually visit SeashellPlayingCards.com. The Four Beast deck was printed by the Legends Playing Card Company. It did use their diamond finish. It's a fully custom, fully unique uh, deck of playing cards, and it was inspired by uh, the ancient Four Beasts of Chinese mythology, and we'll get to that when we uh, look at the cards. Uh, the tuck case, the Xixiao and Four Beasts in the front, and it has a symbol of each one of the different Four Beasts. It's the dragon, the bird, the tortoise, and the white tiger. On the two long sides, it says Four Beasts with a spade. On the bottom of the tuck, it does say Seashell Playing Cards and has some ad copy and their .com. Uh, the tuck case flap has a custom tuck seal and it says Seashell Playing Cards there as well. And then the inside tuck liner, ooh, is intricately designed with like a beautiful like Chinese floral pattern. Hey, real quick, I wanted to show you a close up view of the inside printing on the tuck case. And so there you have it. It's really beautiful and uh, I think it really adds to this and helps keep a really cool Chinese feel to this. And then the back design of the tuck case is the back design of the cards. And so that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said before, these were printed by the Legends Play Card Company, and they do have their diamond finish. These cards are very slick, and they're very smooth. They glide. They're very, uh, they're very slippery. Um, and they do have uh, more of a casino feel to them. They do feel a little thicker than your regular thin stock. The back design has a thin white border and then an inside turquoise border. The entire back design is done in turquoise, it's one color. Um, there's a dragon in the corners here and here. It is a two-way back design. And then in the center, there's kind of like a, a labyrinth um, symbol. And I would add, even though there's a, uh, a Chinese feel to this, it is definitely a Chinese deck. Um, the, the fact that they're using symbols and repeated imagery, the fact that it's a two-way back design, um, it really does... Uh, keep it within the realms of something that feels familiar like a poker card or a card that you would use for magic. With this deck you're going to get one gaff. It is your double backer, which is cool. And you're going to get two jokers. It actually forms a diptych. Uh, put together it has all four beasts there together. You can see the dragon and the bird, the tortoise and the white tiger. And uh, when it's held uh, correctly, like that, uh, it makes a little picture. You're also going to get one ad card. It says a little bit about uh, Sishu playing cards on this side with their special thanks. And it has a coming soon uh, UPC that's scannable that shows you what their upcoming project is. The aces are all large and exploded. Um, the hearts uh, depicts the vermilion bird. Uh, the clubs depicts the black tortoise. The diamonds depicts the white tiger. And the spades depicts the azure dragon. Like I said earlier, this is a fully customized deck. And so the pip and indice layout is unique, uh, but it does keep a traditional feel to it, but uh, the, the placement of the pips is original. Each one of the court cards depicts one of the four beasts. Here we're looking at the diamond, so it is the uh, tiger, and it just uh, shows them in a different position on each one. Here are the clubs, so this is depicting the black tortoise. And again, it's just the uh, same beast, but just in different positions. All right, so I wanted to give you a close-up look. Here is the back design and the diptych jokers, as well as your ad card. And here are your four aces. Here is a really quick example of the court cards that come with this deck. Here's your king and queen and jack. Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy and twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.